What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, RoboPeta15 here, bringing you episode 3 of our Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 Let's Play here. Let's rock and roll, get right on into this. Last we left off, we were in the hideout. Sorry, I have a bunch of different save files here, but I believe this is the correct one. We were in the hideout, kind of chilling out, and we were going to go out and check out... We were going to go back and take out uh, Dark Purple. The uh, big giant monster thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Real quick, I'm going to check on the squad. It has been a couple days since I played this game. So let's check it all out. Um, one thing I do want to check on is the formation. Who's where? So we got two up front, one in the back. Alright, uh, yeah, that, that should work. That should work. We're doing good. Let's push on into this point. Alright, so what's the game plan, Uzume? So, basically, a horde of monsters will approach the city before the giant does. We gotta get rid of the horde first. Gotcha. So all we gotta do is defeat any monsters that come here, right? Sounds simple enough. Right on. I'm counting on you, Nepsy. Nepsy? Nep to... <sighs> Nep whatever's too hard to pronounce. You're Nepsy now. And there it is. The usual and expected pattern of people I've just met being unable to pronounce my name. But it's a totally fresh and adorable nickname, so I'm pumped. By the way, you'll be Gearzy. Gearzy? Well, you can't both be called Nepsy, right? You'll be Gearzy. Gearzy. Gearzy, huh? <laughs> this might be the first time I've been given such a cute nickname. Welcome to the club, Nepgear. Well then, looks like the first wave is approaching. Come on, you two. Let's get fired up. Uh, right. The first wave is upon us. We won't lose. We Serpentis, eh? Nope. What the hell is this shit? Prepare yourself. I'll nip you all up. I'm a force of fury. Oh, what should I do? Okay, okay, let's keep it up. You're not half bad. Right. We're looking okay on health. I wonder how many waves we have to beat here. Do it if I try. No items, Yonsville level one. Meaning didn't take damage or something? Phew. I think we've taken care of all the monsters in the area. No, we've only endured the first wave. Here comes the second. Oh. It's a lot larger than the ones we just fought. <laughs> you bastard. Of course you would be here. What? Uzume, are you a Acquainted with this monster? <laughs> oh, we're much more than acquaintances by now. We've faced each other so many times, we're practically a pair of rotten best friends. Okay, so it's a rival, basically. Whenever I have an opportunity to challenge the giant, this asshole just loves to get in the way. I can't count how many times he stopped me. <laughs> hey, you mutt! This ends today. Right here, right now! That music is intense. That's a share crystal? Today, this is going to end differently because I brought some friends with me who'd love to see you meet your end, along with that stupid giant. Share crystal, transform! Transformation complete. That's her transformation? <laughs> We've learned Triburst, eh? So Triburst, it's a formation skill. Ooh. 
about time they added this into the game. I will say, because there were so many times where I'm like just batting an opponent back and forth between two characters. I'm like, man, it'd be cool if I had like something to do or like some really cool cinematic with this teamwork. So you got a two-person coordination, which would be a pinch, and then a three and a four-person, which would just be surrounding them. Okay, I like that. And it looks like you have the line. So the lines will show up when you're at a certain range to do the formation. Okay. You have to have the EXE drive gauge filled. Okay. And nobody... Oh, you can't have the apathy static status effect. God damn it. That sucks. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, shit. The odds. Look at her. Uzume Toraboji. She is kawaii. Oh, I have this. Let's do that. You have nice taste. This looks freaking cool, right? What? I have the different processor. I don't have any other processors for her. I do. I do. So I have a. I have blank processors. Okay. Gotcha. 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 And they don't have processor units yet, so that sucks. All right. Party, coupling... Okay, here we go. Oh, so rude of you girls asking who I am. It's me, Uzume. Uzume. Let's do our best together, you two. Spiral dream! Alright, let's, let's, uh... Okay, so that's where it's at. Formation skill. So this must be coupling, yeah, coupling skills. Derp. Okay, so dream radar... 3,300 two hitter with a wait time of 43. Mega Slaymon, eh? What should I do? Uh, let's check this again. Oh, let's be in the same transformation state to activate. So we can't do that because Uzume is. Uh, in her CPU form. Alright, so we got the EXE drive gauge filled. Yeah, I was right. See, we got that little thing showing the lines. Okay. So I would have to turn off HDD to use this skill, unfortunately. I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Oh, shit, that healed her. Let's do it, Dream Roar. What does this do? He does a lot of damage. Alright, let's do let's turn off HD. I wanna I wanna do this. Formation skill, Shrivers! Holy shit. It's <laughs> just a big ass like explosion. For the sake of the others, I can't lose. I think I'm a little closer to Neptune now. Yeah, level 9. We learned Ma Ma Magna Slash. Okay. Mega D Drive. Ooh. Yeah, level up. Okay. Very nice. Oh, I finally won against Doggy. Doggy? 
only because of you guys that I defeated it. Thanks so much. Aw, oh, shucks. No need to thank us. We're friends now. I'd go to bat for you any day of the week. I'm not too sure about this form of about Orange Heart, Uzume. She's right. We're friends now. Um, so, what's your name, CPU Uzume? It's Orange Heart. Yeah, I'm not too sure about Orange Heart. Like, she's decent and all, but uh, that voice, I don't think I could get so used cool. to that voice. I was really surprised by your transformation, Uzume. I thought you'd get even more aggressive in HDD form, but you're completely the opposite. I can't get over it. It's so crazy. Huh? Nepsy, why do you know about CPUs? Oh, duh, that's right. There was so much going on, I forgot to tell you we're both CPUs, too. What? Like, for real? Don't play with me, Nepsy. Cross my heart. I am Purple Heart, the patron CPU of Planetune, able to leap giant dugus in a single bound. I can even calm crying children. <laughs> Except, I kind of have no shares here, so it's not like I could transform and just show you. So, you're a CPU too, Piercy? Yes, I am. Although, technically, I'm a CPU candidate. Wow, this is crazy! Never in a million years would I have imagined I'd run into CPUs in a desolate place like this! So cool! Oh, believe me, we're just as surprised. But I'm sure this is fate. You're totally right! Ugh, ran out of time! Ran out of time? Oh, right! It looks like you were using a share crystal to transform. What the goodness? It's still alive? Damn it. You're a You know, we kind of like you. laid into you that thing. There's no way it should be alive. Shoot. Any more of this is going to be tough, even for me. But if it still wants a fight, then we'll keep going till the very end. It ran away? running away because of my intimidating strength. Yeah, <laughs> keep on walking, tough guy. Neptune, I think it's leaving because of its heavy lacerations. It's just hurt. I'm not satisfied that I couldn't finish it off, but now I can finally take on that giant. W wait just a second, Uzume. How can you be thinking of fighting that giant thing with those injuries? What's the matter, Nepsy? What happened to... We'll keep going till the very end. You know that's not what I mean. All I'm saying is you might not make it if you try fighting with those wounds. Incoming! Ah! <laughs> Surprise attack? How cowardly! Let's return the favor twofold, girls! It's our turn to debut! Ouch! Are you okay, Uzume? Did you get hurt from that explosion just now? You kidding? It takes more than that to take me down. Let's focus on how we can kill this thing. Oh crap! Did everyone get out okay? It's me. What's your status? Have they all been evacuated? Uzume, we've just finished. We're in the next town over. Oh, good. We just made it. Yes, they're safe now. Thanks to you, Uzume. Then I can fight without reservations. Thanks for the update. Seems like everyone was able to escape safely. It's all because of you two. Thank you. Of course. But don't you think it's time we escape as well? Escape? I've been waiting so long for another chance at this giant. You just want to waste it? <laughs> ah! Watch out! Huh? Phew! Just dodged it by the skin of our hairs. Neptune! Uzume! Are you both alright? We're fine. I mean, it was too close for comfort, but it looks like we're okay. Yeah, thanks to you, Nepsy. Dang it, Uzume. You really think it's a good idea to fight this thing when you're all beat up? Of course I do. Too risky. Let's get out of here while we still can. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I haven't.
haven't had a shot like this in so damn long, and I don't expect you to get it, but I'm gonna fight. If you wanna leave, then just go. What are you saying? There's no way you can hold your own with that thing when you're so beat up. No, I can do this. I'm gonna fight even if the flesh is falling off my bones. I mean, she's got a strong spirit, but uh... Besides, I won't lose in a fight even if I die. Even if I have to go down with it, I'll... Yeah! <laughs> uh, ouch! What the hell are you doing? You can't do it alone, Uzume. Drop the tough girl act and live to fight another day. You know, they say where there's life, there's rope. Typical of uh, Neptune to get the saying wrong. R rope? I, I think she meant to say hope. Yeah, that's the word, hope. All the good little monsters were able to escape. Isn't that good enough for now? You don't need to push yourself, pal. Anyway, that's how it's gonna be. Nepgear, give me a hand here. Okay! Whoa, Kay! Let me go, you jerks! You can't just pick me up like this! Put me down! Got a good grip on her, Neptunior? Let's blow this pineapple stand. Hey! Listen to me, damn it! I think this is probably far enough. Doesn't look like we were followed either. You idiots getting in the way like that? How could you? You two know a CPU's sworn duty is to protect her people and how could... Hey, Uzume, you're alive. A CPU also kind of needs to be alive to keep doing her job, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I guess I should be thankful, so thank you. <laughs> no need. I'm just glad you're here. Is there any place we could rest? We've all taken quite a beating, and we need to find a place to tend to Uzume's injuries. Yeah, let's head back to my base. Even now, it's out of the way of danger, and I have a lot of supplies we could use. Okay. Oh, oh shit, that was a really, really long yawn. Let's head back to the base, shall we? Uh, can't we just hang out here? Nope. Yeah, see, I don't want to deal with you fools, so I'm just going to conduct a slat. Oh, Just out of reach. Here, I'll just mirage dance you. I'm sorry. What should I do? And I'll just cross combination you, just because just I don't want to waste a turn. There we go. Oh god, the voice acting again. Here we go. So, what's with that giant thing? Is it gonna make its way over here at some point? Am I gonna need to show it my final form? Don't worry. Looks like after its little rampage, it disappeared again. That's usually what it does. Oh, so we made it out safely. Well, yeah, but that area is destroyed. That area it destroyed is no good to us anymore. I'm a little worried. We're running out of places to go. But I am glad everyone got out okay. Plus we were able to seriously injure that mutt. Even the small victories are pretty sweet. You girls are being worn out too, right? I've got some food if you're hungry and blankets if it gets cold. Make yourselves at home. Pudding, pudding. Oh. Manuel is gonna give us another hint. Hey, Neptune? What do you think this city's called? Beats me, but why are you asking? I thought I'd keep a record of our experience and document any irregularities we encounter. I'm very curious as to why these buildings look so much like Planeptunes. It's odd, isn't it? Ah, uh, let's ask Uzume. She'd know for sure. The name of this city. Sorry, I don't know it either. Huh? You don't know? You're the CPU! Well, 
yeah, I'm the CPU, but to be honest, all of my memories are gone. What? I woke to the sight of the city in shambles, and well, that's the earliest thing I can recall. It's lame that I don't even know what, what its name is. The only thing I'm sure of is that I am the CPU of this nation, and that giant is responsible for its destruction. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. It's alright, really. Nothing for you to worry about, Gearsy. Having no memories isn't hurting me any in any way. It is what it is. Sorry I can't really help. So I've been meaning to ask, but where did you and Gearsy come from, Nepsy? We live in Planeptune. Ever heard of it? Planeptune? <clears throat> What's wrong, Uzum? Oh, nothing really. I think it's just fatigue from f finally catching up to me. So, Planeptune, was it? Sorry, but I don't think I know it. I see. Only, there is the possibility that it's a nation from across the ocean. Across the ocean? Yeah, I've never been... I'm not sure what's over there. Then, does that mean we've crossed an ocean and ended up on another continent without even knowing it? Is that possible? I can't say I'm very convinced. But it would explain why the end gear has no reception and why we can't transform. Do you two remember how you even got here? It didn't seem like you flew or anything. We're actually not sure of that ourselves. I pressed the power button on a game console I was trying to fix, then a giant vortex appeared, sucked us in, and we ended up in the city. A vortex, huh? No matter how you look at it, a faraway continent or not, that must be what warped you guys here. Oh, hey, it's been bothering me for a while, but why can't we feel any shares here? Well, there aren't any people. Anywhere. What? There may be some humans in places I have no knowledge of, but I've never seen them. So that's why we couldn't feel any share power at all. And that's why you use a share crystal to transform. But where did you find something as rare as a share crystal? Oh, it was just lying around here somewhere. What? You just find share crystals on the ground? Is that normal here? Definitely. That's impossible! Share crystals are the, con are the condensed crystallizations of invisible share energy. How can they just be found on the ground? That's right, but is something wrong? In order to manufacture a share crystal, you need a huge amount of shares and a special formula in order to crystallize it. Before this, when fighting an enemy called the Deity of Sin, the oracles of our nations created share crystals but barely managed to make four. For those, who, for those to just be lying out in the open. Huh. So that's how share crystals are made. To be honest, even I don't know why share crystals are lying on the ground. So, for you, they're like slightly rare items that can give you a temporary power boost in shares. Yeah, something like that. That's why I always carry them with me, so I won't run out. Look. Amazing. This might be the first time I've seen such a large pile of share crystals. It's embarrassing, but I can't go HDD unless I have these things, so my allies are always on the lookout for more. Oh man, you're really living life on the edge. Can't be helped. Besides, it's good to have something to rely on. Well, you can rest assured from now on, even if I can't transform, the goddess of victory is on my side. I've got high hopes for you guys. Alright then, if that's the case, then let's celebrate by having- Nope. Having a delicious juice party. Nepgear, lend me your strength. You got it. I think those two turned out to be CPUs. But that headache just now. Planet Tune. Even though it's my first time hearing it, 
why does it make me feel so uneasy? <laughs> Alright. One more conversation. Hey, Uzume, I have a question about that thing. Hmm? You mean about the giant? Yeah, that. We keep calling it stuff like the giant the, or that thing, but does it have an actual name? A name, huh? I've never really thought about that. I wonder if it has a name at all. You don't know anything about its real identity either, right? Like where it came from or what its purpose is here? I don't know anything about that. It's not like I can just talk to it. All I know is that it's on a warpath whenever it appears. When it destroys cities, it erases them from existence. They just vanish. I keep saying it, but we're really running out of places to hide. What? Those cities, they just, they, they vanish? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. That's not all. I haven't seen them myself, but there are also three other giants as well. They've destroyed the other three nations. There are four of those things? Oh jeez, we picked a really bad time to visit this place. Okay. This is awful, Nepgear. I don't see any pudding anywhere. Well, it would need to be refrigerated anyway, so you're probably out of luck. Oh, pudding. If I find the ingredients, I'll make some for you later, so just be patient for now, okay? Yippee, I love you the mostest, Neptunior. <laughs> Neptune, it's it's embarrassing for you to hug me in a place like this. Hey, I've been wondering for a while now, but you're the older sister, right, Nepsy? That's absolutely correct. I am, in fact, the older of the two of us. How do you like that? Wow, seriously? I thought it was the other way around. We get that a lot. Since I'm a bit taller and Neptune's personality is... Well, you know, people like to tell us where we were born in the wrong order. I know she's a little peculiar at times, but when it, gets, when it comes down to it, Neptune's is incredibly dependable and just plain cool. Huh. There certainly are some interesting pairs of siblings in the world. Okay, so I think I get that we landed on a continent across the ocean, but how are we going to get back over there? Well, I think we'll have to find a boat, since we can't really fly without transforming. So, that means our first quest is to find a boat. Just like that one famous RPG. I'm super pumped. You know, I'm sure Histoire is really worried about us, since we just disappeared without a trace. We need to hurry back and find a way home. Yes, please, because I need my histoire fix today. I have not seen histoire at all. Nepgear, do you think it's okay for us to just leave? What do you mean? I mean, Uzume, she's been fighting all she's been fighting alone for who knows how many years without any idea who or where she is. Even if we're able to find a way home, shouldn't we help her out first? There's no need for that, Nepsy. Oh, Uzume, what do you mean by that? If you have a home to get back to, you should hurry up and get back there. But, Uzume... In all honesty, I... It was surreal running into you girls. Huh. <sighs> oh, shit. I never thought I'd meet other people in this dump, let alone a pair of sister CPUs. <laughs> When you both willingly stood alongside me in battle, it made me so freaking happy to be alive. It was something I'd never felt before. But when all is said and done, this battle is between me and that giant idiot. There's no need for you to risk your lives here. So if you have people waiting on you, you should leave. I'm the CPU here. This nation is my responsibility and mine alone. Uzume, now that we know all that, we can't possibly leave you here all by yourself fight that thing on your own for so long it's horrible oh come on it's not horrible at all just that's just everyday life for me um Uzume, when you say the responsibility is yours alone have there really been no other cpus to come and help you in the past 
That's right, I've always been the only CPU here. And there's no one else to help you fight, even if they're not CPUs. It's a shame, but there's no one else that looks like they could fight. It's up to me. That's all the more reason for us to help. Two heads are better than one, but three are better than two. I mean, I get that you know how to fight, but I couldn't possibly do something so uncool like involving unrelated people in this fight. We're not unrelated, we're friends. We can't just ignore a friend who's in trouble. It wouldn't feel right to just leave. Friends, huh? It, it's not like I think of you guys as like actual f friends or anything like that. Sundere activated. One fresh serving of Sundere coming right up. <laughs> oh, I know. I have a proposal for you, Uzume. Will you listen to me for a second? Proposal? Why don't you let Neptune and I help you out until we go back home? What? Until you go home? I'm trying to tell you that it's too dangerous so you should head home immediately. About that. Don't you think it'd be dangerous for us to explore a strange land we're unfamiliar with? We have no idea where a boat might be and we don't know when that giant's gonna show up next. Also, if were to be targeted, I don't think Neptune and I could handle it alone. What are you getting at? It must be some sort of fate that we've met, so why don't we work together? I get it. I'll help you guys look for a way home, and in the meantime, you'll help me fight. Oh, as expected from my kid sister, a great two birds with one stone idea. Well, what the hell. Not like you're gonna listen to me anyway. Let's go, let's do as Gearsy says and work together. Who's me? But, if we find a way to get you guys home, I'm sending you guys back as soon as I can. And I won't have any complaints about it. <laughs> Understood. Hmm. There's nothing here either. What's wrong, Neptune? You've been searching through a bunch of rooms for a while now. I got kind of dirty from the battle before, so I wanted to take a bath or a shower, but I can't find one anywhere. Now that you mention it, I should do that too. I might smell not great. That last battle really made me work up a sweat. <laughs> hmm, I don't think you smell, Gearsy. Uzume, what are you doing? Oh, well, you know, you said you might smell bad, so I sniffed you to check if you did, but... Don't worry. You, you, don't, you smell like a good shampoo. There isn't even a hint of stinkiness. R really? Yeah, I may run and hide, but I never tell a lie. That's me in a nutshell. Ah, crap, I skipped over that one. Alright, we're back, guys. Uzume is building up to Nepgear's flag. I never expected her to be wooed by the same gender. Your big sister's starting to get anxious about your future, Nep Jr. N Neptune, don't say such weird things. But your cheeks were getting red, and you were even looking at her with upturned eyes. I can't help but feel suspicious. That was because I was embarrassed, and not... <laughs> you two are always so funny. Goodness, this is partly your fault, too. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Forgive me. By the way, what you doing here, Izume? Did you need something from us? You're looking for a place to bathe, right? We don't have a bath, but I thought I'd tell you about our re replacement for showering. You have a shower? Follow me, I'll show you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. YouTube, YouTube, please be kind to me, YouTube. Please be kind to me. Please be very kind to me, YouTube. God damn it. Right? Isn't it even better after you've exercised? Yep, cold water feels the best against a warmed up body. Wow, what an awesome idea to open a hole in a rooftop, t in a rooftop water tank and use it as a shower. It's like the wisdom of everyday life, or the wisdom of survival instincts. 
I've been living here for a long while, so this kind of knowledge naturally sinks in. Since you're here, you should take a shower with me too, Uzume. It's nice and cool. YouTube, please, be kind to me. Uh, why not? Are you too embarrassed to take it all off outside? Well, no, I'm not- I'm used to that, so I've got no reservations towards it, but, um... Well... You know... Um... You see... I got it, you're embarrassed to get naked in front of other people! <laughs> you- you idiot, that's not it at all! Looks like you're right on- the, Oh, that's Nepgear speaking. Looks like you're right on the mark, big sis. It's- it's not on the mark! It's, it's not at all like I'm embarrassed to be naked in front of others because I've been alone all this time or anything. <laughs> wow. She spilled that out all by herself. Oh, I know. I'd love to see your super cool birthday suit, Uzume. Uh, I'd like to see you throw your clothes off all dramatically and take a shower with an awesome splash. Come on, show me your cool self. If you took a shower au naturel on the rooftop of an abandoned building with no one around, I think it'd be super wild and stylish. N N Neptune, I don't think that will... I, I guess it can't be helped. If you insist, Nepsy, then I will show you. You two, please be kind to me. Please be kind. That was bare bottom. Oh, shit. <laughs> I gotta get the sensor hammer out for this. God damn it. No way! You're actually going to undress? Wowee! You're so stylish, Yuzume! You're way past cool. You're awesome! Oh, damn it. This is so embarrassing. <sighs> huh? What did you say, Yuzume? Well, I didn't say nothing. I'm not embarrassed by this at all. In fact, it feels good to be, like, this liberated. She seems to be getting desperate. But how did you manage to t make her undress, Neptune? I didn't have proof, but ever since we first met, she seemed fixated on being cool. Instigation's worth it, huh? I was spot on. Now that you mention it, you might be right. Aren't you getting in too, Gearsy? She's right, you should jump in, Nepgear. It'd be it's the perfect level of chili to feel good. But, um, taking my clothes off outside is... It's too embarrassing. Oh, what? I didn't know you swung that way. <laughs> what are you getting hung up about? We're all girls here, so you don't have to worry about being seen. Besides, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience to bear it all in the middle of a city like this. I, I don't think I need that kind of experience. <laughs> <coughs> Shit. All right, Napsy, if it's come to this, let's undress her. I won't forgive you for being the only one not undressing from embarrassment. Roger that. What? W wait, um, no! YouTube. YouTube, buddy old pal. We're best friends, right? Please, uh, please don't ban me. This is way too embarrassing. No one's looking, right? It's fine. There's no one else here but us. Th thank goodness. Still, it's kind of fun to shower with everyone like this. Maybe because I was alone for so long, it ends up feeling even better. Well then, since we've met like this, we should do a bunch of fun things you've never done before, Uzume. We can wash each other's backs in the bath, eat and eat meals together, and lots of other great things with each other. That's right. I'd like to do all sorts of fun things with you too, Uzume. Nepsy, Kirzy. Then it's time to check how much both of you have developed. Whoa, Nepsy! <laughs> Please don't touch me there. That's a booty, and uh, I gotta censor it. But hey, Nep Station is back. Yay. Okay. Nep Station! Hear, hear! Our new sensational program has abruptly, has abruptly started once again. Its name is Nep Station! In this program, we have a quiz Oh, this is Nep here talking. In this program, we have a quiz show where you win prizes for correct answers. 
and a mail order corner where you can buy items only available here. By the way, I'm sure all of you sitting on the other side of the screen know this, but this program is separate from the main story and meta-filled, so keep an open mind. And so, our first episode explaining the program has ended. This has been your host, Neptune, and her younger sister, Nepgear. See you later! And with that, I think we're going to call that an episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can as well. Man, I cannot wait to get into a 2D game and really sink my teeth into it. It's been so long. Either way, guys, Panda, check in out.